Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of New Beginnings in Edgewater. It's been a while, but we are back. I gotta apologize for that. Work has been getting a little bit crazy these last few weeks, so I've been a little bit behind, but I think we've got things sorted out. I think we're good to go again. Uh, first things first, I guess let's get a recap of where we are, when we are, and what we're doing here. Uh, it is currently April, which means it is time to be seeding oats and peas. Um, I do not have any of the supplies yet for that. Uh, it is supposed to be delivered by the co-op today between 11 and 1. So you can see up in the top corner, we're at about 9.30. So we've got a couple hours to burn here before anything gets uh, delivered. Um, over here in the, the shed, you can see I've got some equipment pulled out. I have been doing some work on the cedar. I've been doing some work on getting the gator ready. We're going to go do some soil samples first and right out of the bat here, right out of the gate here. Uh, I guess we should check in on cash. Make sure this little glutton's food bowl is filled. Here he comes. It's amazing. He doesn't listen to a thing I say, but yet the kibble's going into the bowl. We'll call him from across the county. Amazing. So cash has been doing great. He's been keeping the deer basically unbothered in the yard. Pitch. I mean, what what else can you really ask for, really? Uh, greenhouses have been going good. Between the greenhouses and the solar, uh, we've actually been putting in a little bit more these last couple of months than what our bills have been. So we're making a small profit here. Um, I do really need to mow this. This has gotten way out of hand. This whole yard has gotten out of hand. Probably get into some of that if we've got some time later today. You can see the strawberries are doing great. Not quite ready for picking yet. I do have the auto water feature on these, so. Um, oh. These should all be set to selling. And it looks like they're set to storing. Okay. Well, let's go in here. Let's check the productions tab. If I can remember where the trigger is. I think it's on the left side here. I just run around here spamming R. Eventually I'll find it, right? And heaven forbid I go look in the menu. Ah, found it. Strawberries. Yeah, they're set to storing. To be set to selling. Storing. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know why that happened. This last one is all set to selling and the other three were all set to storing. Okay, that's weird. Well, we got that figured out. Guess I gotta load these up on the old truck and trailer and get them out of here. That won't take too long. But I do have other priorities today. You can see we do have the snowblower off the 4440 and you can see we've got the chains off. Um, it is April so I do have the snowblower out just in case. We shouldn't need it though. Everything in here is fine. We won't touch or talk about that. A little bit of reorganization back here, move the trailers. The disc is just in the corner there. You can probably see it just right around where the, the aim marker is on the center of the screen. Skid loader out, ready to go for when the co-op gets here with the product. Got the gator all hooked up and ready. We've got the cedar getting worked on, and we've got the little mower ready. And I did have to buy a lawn sweeper because I don't want to just leave everything on the lawn. And it's a little too tight to get the baler around. So, just get this guy going. Um, I I may also switch the configuration on the bat wing here for the larger areas just to a mulch configuration. I don't have to pick it up. Then I can do the, the county roads as well without leaving a swath. But, I think we're all caught up here. Why don't we go do some soil testing? Let's just get this hammered out. Get this out of the way. If 
you guys remember, this is the modded Isaria Scout, so it does have quite a range on it. You can see in the bottom corner there on the map. Try not to get too much of the neighbor's land here. Need to sample their soil. At least, you're not paying me to do it, so I'm not going to do it. Right about there. There we go, first sample taken. I do also really like how quick this mod is. We're probably going to have to look at maybe five or six for this field. Shouldn't take too many. This, this pretty much covers what I would expect to take in real life for soil samples. How much area is dedicated between each. There we go. We'll be up to here. Three, I think. Fourth one here. And then in, in real life, I wouldn't worry about this top corner here, but farm sim seems to matter. There we go. And we'll go into the menu here. We'll make sure we've got these sent off. There we go. All right, so we'll get those off to the lab. They should have them done pretty quick. Probably by the time I get to the road, this game is unrealistically fast. We're gonna rip down to the other field. And there you can see, I haven't even got to the neighbors, or I haven't even got past my own place yet. Alone over to the neighbors. have our results. Also driving this mod around just brings me right back to my childhood. This thing hits me right in the nostalgia. And I think we're gonna cheat this. We're gonna go through the ditch because we can. Oh, big bump. Yeah, okay, wait see. We're gonna dive. We made it. Alright, now this... This, I'm gonna give you the first few here, and then I'm just gonna boop it. This field's gonna take quite a few. Let's go around the outside here. Get the perimeter done. And there we go. That was the last sample out of this field. We're going to rip back home. We're going to send these off to the lab. Didn't even take us 20 minutes to do that. Barely even 10. And now we got this highway again. Ooh, oh, we have a chance. Man, that never happens. All right. Let's get home, let's get this gator put away. I do like that, my fields are fairly close. I don't have much for travel time between them.
There we go. Now we have all of our soil samples taken. We have all of our results. Let's see what we have. Where are we? Where are we? Here we go. All right, so let's look at, let's look at the big field first. Ah, soil samples, 2100. We took 14 of them. We have a mix of loamy sand, sandy loam, and loam. Okay, well that's good. Loam is what we want. Loam is, I believe, the highest yielding in this, in this game. Got a little bit of loam through the center of our small field. You can see I got a little bit of overlap here with the neighbors. That's kind of inevitable, um, or unavoidable, I should say. Although across a creek probably wouldn't be that representative of a soil sample so we'll take that with a grain of salt um, you can see they've got a, just a tick of loamy sand here so a little bit of loamy sand in field seven but for us it's mostly silty clay which is not great lots of loam and then a little bit of sandy loam around the outside so all in all not so bad and then up here in the old quarters or the old fields Nothing has really changed. Soil types, we've got our pH, which if you remember, we did lime these before the fall. Nitrogen, obviously it's depleted. We haven't put any fertilizer in, and you can see we do have somebody moved into our old place already. So we yield information. Yeah. Right. So looking at our nitrogen levels, nitrogen actually looks pretty heavy in field eight. I might not have to, well, I'm, I'm putting peas into it, so I probably don't have to put any nitrogen on it anyway, but it's nice to see that that's good. Nitrogen is pretty low in, in the home field. I'm well, definitely gonna take a high rate there. And pH, pH is looking really good in the home field. Between six and six and a half. Uh, again, we're between, it's like six and a quarter. Yeah, six and a quarter to five and a half in field eight. So we're, we'll probably leave that too. I was thinking we might rent the floater and and do that one again, but we probably won't. Definitely not for our, our small field next to home here. That one's perfect. So, with that said, I am going to keep working on the cedar here. I'll catch you guys when the co-op shows up, because until then, I'm... Well, I'm, I'm stuck adjusting everything on this and waiting for them. So, see you guys when we hear back from them. All right, so we're all caught up here, still waiting for the co-op to show up, but I figure I may as well address this real quick. Um, I did put new tires on the tractor here over the spring. Um, when I took the chains off, I noticed that they had rubbed through on the sidewall in a few places, so I figure if I was gonna do new tires, I'd go up a few sizes. So we're still running the Trailer Borg TM800s, but uh, you can see we're now onto some 710s here. And I did add some wheel weights in, so the old iron horse here should pull a little bit better this year. Uh, nothing done to the engine. He's still sitting at, what, 142, 146 horse, somewhere in there, depending on the day. Um, yeah. And this is all it's going to do this year is pull the cedar and, and just run basic tractor utilities mower, baler, that kind of stuff. Uh, the big horse here, he's going to do all the tillage and he's going to seed the big field. Uh, we are renting a seeder from the co-op. Uh, I just have to go pick it up. Actually, I might do that quick. Might also just jump out on the mower while I'm waiting. At least get the uh, front yard and in front of the greenhouses taken care of.
It worked. It wasn't that satisfying, but it worked. Um, we're not doing too bad on cash. Maybe. Maybe do we look at a new mower? I'm going to do all this area now instead of just that little strip in front of the house. Maybe it might be nice to have something. Um, I can do this little patch here. Get in and around the house. See if the... Why don't we see if Clever's happened to got a uh, zero turn? John Deere. There's a lizard available. Well, of course, we're looking at the John Deere first. Get a pack of front weights for it. Pneumatic tires, airless tires. Get it with a hitch. All of that for 5400 Versus this Moet, which is actually slightly wider cutting. This is only 2.4 meters. It's 2.5 meters. So that's 10 centimeters or about 3 inches more cut. Not quite enough for me to justify the uh, extra 3,000 here. I can get it up to 82 horse, which is all right. Decent set of wheel options. Oh yeah, there we go. There's the spikes. Good amount of lights. Oh, there's a roll bar for it. LED and roll bar, not so bad. Underglow. Oh good, I can make can I make a John Deere green. I can. Oh, not dudes. Not dudes. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, if we go school bus, then it matches fine. Okay, well, that's not so bad. But that's $10,000. As well get it tuned if we're going that far. On tracks. <laughs> oh, man. No, we're, we're going to go with this guy. Gonna get it upfitted like that. I'll see if they have a bag for it over at Clever. All right, here we go. Got the new mower all loaded up. Apparently, it's gonna give me issues while I drive home. That's okay. Let's give this a shot. This is definitely going to take some getting used to. It's very twitchy. But it seems to be doing quite a good job. Oh, don't want to get stuck. 
See, that's one reason why I wanted to mow the lawn, is I want to find out exactly what my yard looks like. Wants to keep steering a little bit as I go. That's okay. It's doing actually quite a bit better job than the other one did. Cash this ball. I think that looks pretty good. I think I'll hit this little strip here while I'm waiting for the co-op to call me. And then I think we're pretty much going to call her good there. I don't want to get too carried away with this.
Yeah, why don't we take a few bushes out to open this up a little bit. Probably take these ones down too, I think. Holy crap, yeah, it will. Nice, okay. All right, I'll go empty the bag here, throw this in the back of the shop. And give the uh, give the old co-op a call because we're we're just hitting eleven o'clock here, so give them a ring, see what kind of timeline I can get, and we'll go from there. And look who finally showed up. Here I'm coming a mile down the road, just blowing the Jake break. All right, let's get this unloaded. Um. Yeah, where am I going to put all of this? Well, I, I guess the oats and the fertilizer here in the middle. Those can just go straight out here because they're going to go right into the back of that cedar. Uh, probably just unload them straight into there, to be honest. Uh, these boys are going to have to go into either the coal shed uh, behind here or into the actual shed itself. And then the IBCs of herbicide are going to have to go into the shed. So let's not waste too much time here. Let's get going. Man, this poor little thing, it's on its last legs here, so. Hopefully it doesn't give me too many problems. Let's get these straps off. Gave me a little bit of a fit this morning. Trying to get it out of the shop, it didn't want to start. It's been running good since. All right. Go time. So the co-op was pretty good on its word. They said between 11 and 1. It's 12.30, so... Cool. Yeah, that's about all this thing can lift. Alright. What I'm gonna do is save you some monotony here. We'll get this all offloaded. you guys when I'm done. Okay, well, we're almost done with the unloading today, and as you can see, this thing is giving me some troubles. won't go up. I've got got tip. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah. It's one more, one more. We got this. At least get this off the trailer before you quit completely. Yep. 
Yeah, it's like as soon as it's got load, it wants to quit. If we just try it real slow. Stay running now. Okay, well, I guess let's see if we can maybe get this truck moved out of the way and just drop the seeds here. Should be able to, should at least be able to do that. Yeah. There we go. You know, this thing is probably, probably older than me. Probably pretty close to the same age as me. weird because usually you can release pressure on hydraulics oh yeah there we go okay well heck that's a huge inconvenience because I need this to be able to fill the cedar that I'm going to go pick up right now This is no problem. These are bags. I can I can fill this up one at a time. That's as long as the deer stay out of the seed. Because that seed coating isn't gonna be good for them. But Yeah, I gotta go pick up that cedar and I gotta get this stuff going today. Shoot. Not good, not good. Also, I really wish Farm Sim would do something about the character wanting to climb everything it bumps into. That's kind of annoying. Okay. Get this shut down here. Hop in the big horse. Let's go pick up a big cedar. What? Well, just out of curiosity here, let me grab the toolbox. Let's let's see if we can't fix this thing real quick. gonna happen okay so let's go talk to Mark here just while we're down at the co-op we'll stop at the stop at the dealership while we're there and see if we can't get a, <laughs> a new hydraulic pump for this because that's what's packed up in it. Uh, no, need the big horse. See if he's got one, see how quick he can get one if he doesn't. Because this thing, on the other hand, will always start, and always work, and always go. So, let's go. 
All right. Let's go talk to Mark. I think worst case scenario, we probably might take one of these skidsters home with us today. Just to guarantee we get the job done today. Let's see what he's got. All right. I have to chat with him for ooh, probably 20 minutes. Closest block he can find is overseas. So we're looking at probably four to eight weeks for that thing to show up. So uh, we're dead in the water. I think we might. Why don't we go take a look at these skid steers here and see what we like. So we've got a 299D3 here on snow tracks. Comes with a general purpose bucket like that. He wants 22 for this one. I got a 270D, just on normal wheels. Nice general purpose uh, finishing bucket or grading bucket. He wants 17 for that. And then we've got a 332G with pretty much the same bucket as the last one, just a, a smooth finishing bucket. It's got LED lights all around it, and he wants 32 for this one, so that's way out of our budget. Uh, I think we're probably going to pull the trigger on this 272, because I, I don't need two skid steers. This one is plenty for us. It is a 5 ton, so it's got some good weight behind it. It will out-horse, out-lift, and out-work our current one. And I think the nicest thing that it's got going on is the heated cab. So, do do really like this 332G, but she's uh, twice the money that I'd rather part with right now. So, or twice the money I'd rather not part with, I should say. So yeah, I think we're going to go back in, talk to Mark, and get this 272 put aside for us. We'll come back with the truck and trailer after I've finished picking up the uh, cedar. We'll get this going, and then at least I'll be able to load in and out of the the cedar that I'm picking up, and we'll get that done today. Man, it's been nothing but headaches so far. Well, this is fun. Uh, one of the guys from the co-op just ran out and yelled at me. I'm not allowed to take this one. So, I asked which one I'm taking, and it's this little lemkin in the back corner here. I thought for sure I had the Amazon rented for the day. But uh, no, he he insists I take the lemkin today. Good help is certainly hard to find. As my mouse wigs out. All right. So. In case you're wondering how that skid steer arrangement went, uh, we did go ahead with it. I did get the 272D for 17,000. I'm not not overly impressed with how this day is going so far. Just uh, just one mess after another. Oh, and it's been asked why I haven't been visiting my grandma. I do it. I just don't visit her on camera. But I do stop in and say hi. We have coffee on Sundays. And she is doing great, by the way. So, thank you guys for, for caring and for asking. She definitely appreciates that. Right, the sketchiest intersection in the city. There we go, back down the highway we go. All right, I'm not gonna bore you with the super, super slow drive. Just meet you guys back at home. Um, actually thinking about it, I think I'm just gonna dump this thing off in the field. I'll bring it home. We'll see you when I get there.
Okay, so plan. We're gonna get that track truck hooked up to that trailer in the back. And we're gonna go pick up a new skid steer. Replace this one. See what we can't do about moving that in the meantime. Just going to park this over on the grass here so we have enough room to work everything. There. You know, I'm not terribly upset about this. This does have a much higher hopper capacity for seed. So I think it's probably in my best interest. Let's get this truck hooked up here. All right. Let's go pick up the new skid steer. Also, I've been thinking maybe I'll put the old lawnmower up on Marketplace. See if I can make a few bucks back from that. Because I also picked up a new set of forks for the new skid steer. Real nice pass through set pass-through style. So hopefully that just makes my job a little bit easier in and out of there. And then I also don't have to worry about unhooking the new forks, or the, uh, the old forks, I should say, from the skid steer if it won't tip and won't move because it won't start. Anyway, I'll jump cut down there and meet you as I'm loading the new skid steer up. All right, and here is the new skid steer and the new forks. Went with a medium length fork and went with full guard on this. This is a brand new kit here and nice old skid steer. So I'm going to see if I can maybe tuck the forks into the bucket here. If not, we can switch it out. Put the bucket on the forks. There we go. This is immediately so much better than my current skid steer. And we'll just make sure we're centered on here. I'm going to keep this thing over the axles here, but a little further forward, just respecting center of gravity and not wanting to load down the truck's suspension. Make the trailer do all the work. And one more. Not that they touch anything, but... You know, farm sim physics, right? Alright. Sure those ramps are up. Alright, let's take this home. And I'm just going to leave the bucket in front of the door here. Can't see that being a problem. There we go. I love the hydraulic attach on these new skid steers. So much nicer than trying to bang the old latches up and down with the hammer.
There we go. And yeah, you can see with that guard being wide open like that. It's a nice and easy step to get up and in, in and out. So much better. Um, what should we do first here? Let's see if we can't rescue... I guess first let's see if this old skid steer will start. And if it'll stay running long enough, maybe we can back it out of the pallet here and limp it somewhere. Having moderate success so far. Oh, almost. You see the, the pedal. And we're just getting it more and more in the way. Okay. Well, let's drop these forks off. Let's get this out of the way at least, and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll try and push a hydrostatic bobcat with the bobcat. She was already running. Okay. push these over into the corner here and we'll push the bobcat kind of well, I guess over to the bushes or over to the fuel tank if we can get it if I can get it beside the fuel tank I'll be happy I mean heck I might even be able to lift it with this we'll try that first Lift it. Okay, let's try pushing it then. Lift up on it a little bit. Get these forks spread out wide enough if I can get a good enough grab on it. Yeah, it just seems to be going the, the opposite way that I'm steering, so. But, you know what, at least it's out of the way. Let's get this big cedar loaded up. And I'm pretty sure, unfortunately, I think it needs to be... Yeah, I think it needs to be unfolded first in order to get at it. here. Make sure we're well out of the way. Get this thing open.
Oh, it does have markers. That's good. Because this old thing doesn't have GPS. Now, I have been thinking about putting an aftermarket GPS in this. So, you guys in the comments, let me know if you want to see the big horse get some GPS. Let's see. Open. Yeah. All right, we don't need to burn all that diesel to fill this. Seems to be a little picky on its fill point. But there's the first one. I should be able to fit at least three in here, maybe four. actually sticking to something. I've got a collision problem. So I think the problem was, I think I was just too low. Starting to get close to pull. That was three. Now, whatever I don't get in here now, I'm going to throw on the back of the trailer. My trailer. I'm going to throw the skid steer on the back of that, and I'm going to take that out to the field, too. That way I don't have to drive this tractor cedar a mile down the road to refill it. And there we go, that's full. I'm just going to double check, actually. Make sure that that is full. Let's see if I can find a hill point that it likes. That's full.
Okay, that is all loaded up, ready to go. Let's get this thing fired up, folded up, and down the road. Let's get some farming done today. Should I reset for field peas? There we go. And there we have it. Field number one. Done. Okay, so we are all filled up here. There we go. Sparks up every time. Hopefully I left myself enough room to get out of here. I didn't even think about that.
Oh yeah, plenty of room. Uh, yep, cover did close. It only opened because Farm Sims said I was too close to the other stuff. Alright. Let's get cracking on some oats here. Just this tiny little corner up in the northeast quadrant of this field. That's all that's left to seed. But, uh... <laughs> I got 20 liters of diesel in the tractor and 51 liters of seeds. That, uh, that ain't gonna do. And we've used up almost everything that we ordered. So, we'll make sure we get everything filled up. Start the old beast up again. That's, you know what? That's not bad. There's, ah, uh, there's two parts of two pallets of seed left. That didn't, uh, that didn't make itself super even. But we'll pull this around, we'll fill it up with the go-go juice. And we'll go make the, like, three passes that are left. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for us today. We got the oats planted in the field beside the house. We got the peas planted in the field just down the road. I do still have to run this cedar back to the uh, back to the co-op. And I think I'm going to return these well, one and a half row boxes here. I think, yeah, it's about one and a half there. Return those. Unfortunately, I gotta sit on these, but the fertilizer will still be good for the canola for next round. And these oat seeds here, I'll see if I can't sell them. Get some money back off of those. Speaking of selling things, I do still have a strip of bales out at the old place. Uh, sitting up here, so I'll have to come collect those because the new tenant does not want them there. Uh, he's a truck driver, so it's not like he really needs the space, but it'd be nice to, you know, clean up after myself and pick up what's still there. Um, we'll do canola, canola, we'll do a cutting of grass, and then I think the next episode, depending on time, uh, we'll get through and we'll spray everything for weeds. And yeah, thank you so much for, for tagging along today. Um, let me know what you think I should do with that skid steer back there. Could I... Could I just push it back to a corner in the cold shed and... Let it get covered in dust and pigeon poo, or... Sell it, fix it... Because I'm definitely keeping this. This is... This thing is sweet. Um... I do 
I do want to know if there's a snow bucket mod out there for one of these. Uh, I would like a good seven foot snow bucket for this. So if you guys know any, link them down in the comments section below. Um, also, let me know what you guys want to see in the future. Um, do you want me to s go big or like, get some huge equipment lined up for harvest this fall? Or I don't know. Just let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you are still watching, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It, it really does mean a lot to me. Uh, work schedule has gotten a little crazy here. Uh, I'm switching to a... Where I have switched to a four on, four off. Switching between days and nights. So it's kind of kind of a little hard to just live life and do this. But I'll, I'll try. I'll keep trying. Uh, about once a week. Maybe every other week. We'll see if we can keep that kind of schedule going. But uh, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and one that one other thing. This truck here. Should I just pull the trigger on it? It's 22 grand. 2017 Chevy. It's got a chipped Duramax. I. I love it. I love everything about it. Because this old truck of mine. 2008 getting a little old get a little rough but still starts every time still hauls the trailer no problem but I think it would be time to set this one aside and get something new let me know and in the meantime I'll catch you later I got some cleanup to do bye for now